I'm Lady Trample from Chicks and Bowls, and today we're going to talk about frontside and backside calves. So a lot of people get confused with the difference between a frontside and a backside calf. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a simple trick so that you can figure out what way you're carving. When you're carving a ramp, there are going to be two sides to your calf depending on which your leading leg is. If you think about which side you show your chest to or which side you show your back to, that's a really simple way of breaking the maneuver down. Just to pull back to the history a little bit, the origins of roller skating come from skateboarding, which also come from surfing. If you were to think about a transition like a wave, then you imagine as you're carving into it, you're gonna be showing your chest to the wave or your back to a wave. Now we have the same thing with our roller skates when we have a leading leg. And if I am right leg dominant, when I carve to the right with my right leg, I end up showing a lot more of my chest as I carve, which gives me my front side carve. And then as I do that same turn with my right leg in front, but going to the left, I get my backside carve showing my back to the wave or transition. So this is a front side carve. And this is a backside carve. While these calves might look the same, they feel entirely different. So I encourage you to push through as the front side calf is gonna feel a lot easier than the back side calf. So now that you know what a front side calf is and a back side calf, the same thing applies to stalling. If you rotate front side onto a stall, then that becomes your front side. And when you turn the opposite way and show your back, that becomes your back side. Have fun. For more information, head to our website chicksandballs.com.